Hello everyone, I'm Lef here back in with another Epic King Chaos Era video. So in today's video, I'll be giving my first impressions on the three new heroes that were released on the 21st September 2022. And these new heroes are Bela, Donovan and Viola. So let's uh, check, them, check them out uh, in the index. So let's head over to the index here. And the first hero who is known as Donovan, he's located in the Soul Plunders. So let's check him there. Alright, so that is uh, Donovan's character animation. Basically, he slams his shield on the ground. And he wields an axe, a single-handed axe here. With a shield to protect himself. He reminds me about like a Hulk, green color Hulk. With like a uh, shining kryptonite uh, gem. He looks like a... Dragon Ball Saiyan uh, member. Look at his hair. Looks like Super Saiyan, but a green color. <laughs> okay, but I wonder why he's placed in the Soul Plunders because Soul Plunders is mostly mostly like zombies or undead. So it's quite an interesting character to be placed inside this uh, faction. Alright, there's nothing uh, special about him apart from his greenish look with his greenish hair like a uh, dragon ball uh player all right so let's check out his overall stats there's an s rating for attack a rating for health and critical rate and b rating for defense and speed so basically he's a uh, damage dealer hero based from his high attack and critical rate he also has a decent amount of health usually attacker heroes will be squishy however this hero has tons of health so let's see how does his that synergizes with his skills here. Alright, so his first skill is the Berserk Imbuement trait. When an enemy receives a shield, gains 1 rage at 5 rage, consumes all rage to gain 1 bonus turn. So this one uh, reminds me about an epic hero uh, trait who is known as Vance. He also has this capability, but it's a better version compared to this legendary Donovan. Uh, Vance will be able to gain 1 rage reg uh, regardless of what buff the enemy receives. However, for Donovan, he only gains 1 rage when the enemy receives a shield. So at 5 rage, he consumes all rage to gain 1 bonus turn, just like uh, the epic hero Vance. And upon ascending him, this will allow him to reset his ultimate ability cooldown, which is quite, quite powerful. Alright, so basically, based from his trait here, we know that he's some sort like a counter against shield heroes like uh, Bran, Mitasia, Yolanda, Jonathan, those heroes that produce large amount of shield. And that's where you can use him. It'll be best against Jonathan because Jonathan will generate uh, uh, AoE shield whenever his allies uh, receive AoE attack. And Donovan will be a stronger element against him deal 50% more damage. Alright, so let's move on to the next ability, which is the Guidance Splash. It's a basic ability that deals 160% damage to one enemy and gains one rage. Yep, his skill is basically similar to Vance. And okay, quite simple. Nothing unique about it. So probably if you want to uh, help him to gain uh, a lot of rage, probably you want to Oh yeah, this, this mechanic reminds me about another legendary hero who is known as Garrel. So Garrel is uh, best equipped with Curse Set. So each time he gains a bonus attack, he'll be able to gain 1 rage as well. So probably you can use uh, Curse Set on Donovan in order to speed up the rage, uh, rage in increment on his attacks here. And it's also best to pair him with Florence because Florence also provides him with additional bonus attack. Alright, so his next ability is known as the Fury Battle Cry. It's a passive skill that allows him to cast the Battle Cry skill at the start of the turn, only occurs every two rounds. Alright. So he does not need to waste a turn to apply this Battle Cry, it will be automatically applied by itself. Okay, so let's check out this Battle Cry. So it's a special ability that removes all enemy shield and deals them 90% damage. Wow, it's like a. Passive AoE damage skill uh, gains shield enemies. 
But does this mean that it only damages the enemies that only has shield? Or all enemies regardless they have shield or not? So you need to test this to understand this further. Also this bonus damage equal to 10% of this hero's max health. I wonder that whether this damage that is it true damage like uh like Charles or or Rogi because they also do something similar to this. Alright, so let's check out Donovan's ultimate ability. So his ultimate ability is known as the X Skogory, which is a 3 turn skill cooldown. It removes all negative effects and deals 220% damage to one enemy, also gains 2 rage. So this one is like similar to Garrow as well. Just that Garrow is red, while Donovan is the green the green team, <laughs> like uh, AMD versus Intel. No, Nvidia versus a uh, AMD. So this is the green team, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA team, and the red team is like the AMD team. Okay, that's, so that's pretty interesting. So based from his overall skill kit, he's most likely to be used as a counter against shield enemies. And probably you can use him for Duke versus en environment bosses like the Raffle Flood, the one that is able to generate shield to protect. Uh, her herself or you can also use against the queen of tides where the, the boss will be able to apply shield to herself so what gears is recommended for donovan probably i will recommend either warrior set to improve his attack as well as curse set to allow him to increase his reach and mechanic even faster so let's check out the ace developers guide so they also recommended warrior and Terra, okay, Terra is to improve his survivability because he has high amount of health as well, especially for a, an attacker hero. They also recommended Dragon skill set. Hmm, that's interesting. So probably he has some usage in Arena. Okay, there's no one uh obtaining him yet because based on the ratings, no one has. Yeah, I think no one has rated him yet as of now. So most probably you would, you would want to use Donovan either in the Queen of Tides or the Ruffle Flood, which is this one. I'm not sure whether he's... Oh yeah, I don't think Donovan will be able to remove the shield from Topa. The Roaring Topa. Okay. So that's basically it about Donovan's uh, use case. And let's move on to the next hero, who is also in the same faction as Donovan, and she's known as Viola. So she here is Viola. She does not have any uh, starting animation, just basically like that. So so this is Viola. She looks like a vampire hero, or this Zoplanders with all those bats summoning from the, from the ground and floating up. Most probably is helping her to float up in the air. Okay, so let's uh, take a tour, a 360 tour around the character design here. So her cloak looks like a bat. As you notice, it looks like a bat wing here. So it's, so it's quite interesting. Okay. She doesn't seem to wield any weapon. Maybe her weapon is the bats. So she summoned bats to uh, fight the enemies. She has white hair and she also has a, a crown. Maybe she's a queen or princess, not sure. Alright, so that's basically her character design. Let's go over her stats. So she has, she has an A rating for health and speed, B rating for attack and critical rate, and C rating for defense. Most probably she's not a damage dealer, but could be a debuffer hero or a supporter hero. But supporter hero is not so likely because her defense is pretty low. Usually supporter hero would be like the, the backbone of your team to support all of the squishy heroes. So most probably she's a debuffer hero. Alright, so let's check out Viola's skills. So her first ability is known as the Absolutis. It's a unique trait that provides an aura to all of her team members to gain 30% bonus focus. So what this focus means is basically a stat that allows your allies or your heroes to be able to successfully uh, inflict their debuff or negative effect against the enemies. So when an enemy enemy receives 4 negative effects, apply stun to them 
or one turn, only one time per round. So this trait right is similar to Hassel or Hazel. Hazel is a female hero as well, who is also capable of applying this stun. But rather than relying on negative effect, that one relies on the number of hits against that specific enemy. Alright, so in order to trigger the stun, you need to have her to apply debuff. So, okay, so it will be best to synergize her with at least another debuffer hero who is capable of applying at least two or more debuff, preferably an AoE attack. Okay, but this one seems like it only says that only one time per round, so most probably it's only affecting one hero probably to prevent it from becoming too overpowered. So once you ascend Viola, she will uh, she'll be able to stun I think two times per round. So probably it's two enemies within that particular round. Okay, so ideally one of these skills from Viola would, should be able to provide at least two or more negative effects in order for her trait to work. Alright, so let's move on to her first ability here, which is known as the Bad Rider Charm. Deals 110% damage to one enemy and duplicates one negative effect on them to another enemy. So this will, works really well or synergize really well with like, poison damage dealers like Santis, Ganjelo. And also, if you do not have Ganjelo, probably you can pair her with the elite hero, uh, Valu, to also ramp up the poison damage. Alright, so maybe you can use her in the Queen of Tides. However, she's weak affinity there because she's fire. So most probably you would want to use her either in Roaring Tupa or maybe Ash Magistra. But I don't think you can apply or target those minions around the Ash Magistra boss. So most likely you, you would be uh, using her as the... I think for Roaring Tupa or in the Guild versus Environment. To, to apply negative effect to, to spread the negative effect to more people and then you can use the kiss of death talent to deal to gain bonus turn and deal more damage okay the next ability is known as the blood ceremony which is a special skill uh, special ability that has a 3 turn skill cooldown deals 110% damage to all enemies and also drains 8% of the target's max health wow that is super strong and heals the team member with the lowest health for the same amount. However, it's ineffective against bosses. So most probably that draining health it will be dealing through damage and also healing your a member with the same amount. So she's like a debuffer as well as a healer at the same time. So that will uh, pro uh, increase her value in like PvE content. But I don't think she's that well for PvP. Okay. So this would be good probably for... I'm not sure this will work for the give vs environment where it, it has the, this condition that prevents heroes from healing. Most probably she her skill will not work here or work there. Okay. And since this one is an AoE attack, most probably you will want to gear her in a rebel set so she can stun enemies as well. Alright, her ultimate ability is known as the Blood Bat Frenzy, which is a 4 turn skill cooldown. Deals 130% damage to all enemies and applies focus down 2 and resistance down 2 for 2 turns. Okay. Alright, so basically my assumption is correct. She applies 2 negative effects to the enemy. And you need another debuffer hero, maybe like Jonathan, to apply another two more stacks of uh, debuff, like attack down and defense down, and then her trait will trigger to stun at least one enemy on the battlefield. So that's one way to do it. And yeah, so most probably, based on her skills, right, she's more likely like a debuffer hero for PvE content, player versus environment content. Not much for PvP there. And this one lowers the enemy's accuracy to apply a uh, negative effect to your heroes and decreases their resistance against your negative effects. So most probably you want her you want to build uh, Viola 
uh, faster than the rest so that to be able to reduce the enemy's uh, def uh, resistance so that the subsequent hero that applies the debuff will not require so much uh, so much focus stats to apply them. You can build like Viola with higher focus stats while the remaining uh, debuff heroes can have a lower uh, focus stats. So this is how I will build her. So most probably uh, for her to work well, uh, you could gear her in like a speed set. Uh, uh, boost her speed so that she'll go first to cast those to debuff then followed by the secondary hero or debuffer hero to stun the enemies so what gears are recommended for viola since her ultimate ability as well as her uh, special ability are all aoe attack most probably you want her, uh, to equip her in a rebel set to have a chance to stun the enemies along with her with the help of her trait to stun the enemy as well so you can like keep on spamming the stun against the enemy. Then apart from that, you can also gear her with a focus set, like a raptor set, to boost her focus stat as well. So let's check out the, uh, the Ace Developer's Guide. So what, what do they recommend? Alright, so they recommend the same set as me, Rebel set and Terra set to improve, to improve her survivability I think. Okay, that is good. Seems like no one has uh, obtained Viola yet as of now as this uh, video recording. So they also recommended Garnet. Garnet is a legendary dark hero. She's also capable of applying two negative effects similar to Jonathan but it's not a uh, 100% success rate. For Garnet, right, she's able to cast her sleep debuff to prevent the enemies from attacking you. And also she's capable of applying the no positive effects. I think it's a no positive effects. Yeah. Uh, let's do a quick check on her skills. So Garnet is located in the Holy Light Empire. Her ultimate ability. So this is Garnet. Looks like an android. So her ultimate ability uh, applies the slip and the no positive effects. So these are the two effects com combined with uh, Viola's focus down and resistance down to trigger her trait. Another hero that you can use would be Jonathan. I'm not sure is it he, uh, he or not. I think he's in free cities. Yeah, so this is Jonathan. So Jonathan has his ultimate ability Spiral Slash that applies these two negative effects. So this will work really well with uh, Viola. But her but Jonathan base speed is pretty low, so most probably you need to gear him with uh, a lot more radar set to speed up his uh his speed. Okay, so where would we use Viola? So based from her skill kit, it's most probably PvE content. And yeah, you can use her in uh, inside the Void Tower Heart. Uh, Guild vs. Environment, Endless Trial. And where else? Yeah, I think these three areas and Guild vs. Environment. Alright, so let's move on to the third hero. That was released on September. So that new hero is located in the new faction, which is known as the Visitors by the Sea or Vis Visitors by Sea. So she's located in here. So this is the character animation for Bella. So she looks like similar to a vampire like Viola. Looks quite dangerous. Her rose can detonate at any time. So based from her character design, she wields some sort of like a single-handed or uh, dual wielding gear X. I think this gear looks like something similar to the battle battleship movie that use uh, where the aliens use this type of gear to crush their uh, their enemies. And this uh, razor sharp gear right seems like he's uh, there to crush the enemy's defense something similar to that I, re I, I think her skills are something related to her, to her weapon maybe it's to decrease the enemy's defense or either ignore the enemy's defense some sort like that okay and her character design looks something similar to Evera from I think from the free cities based from her clothing here and she has this interesting 
armored gauntlet. Maybe it's to protect her. Okay, she's also blonde, yellow hair, and have, and have some fangs on her face there. Vampire hero. Alright, so let's check out Bella's stats. So she has an S rating for attack, A rating for critical rate, and B rating for the health, defense, and speed. So basically, she's a damage dealer like Donovan. So let's see what makes her different compared to the, the first legendary hero here. So her trait is known as the Rose Thorns. It allows her to ignore 20% of the target's defense. Alright, so, so my assumption is correct there. If the target has defense up effects, additionally ignores 30% of their defense and applies increased damage taken 2 for 2 turns regardless of the resistance. So you do not need to build any focus on her because she can apply this uh, negative effect on them. So that means, right, if you use it against a, def uh, a hero with the defense up buff, that means it's like ignoring 50% of their defense. And on top of that, they will receive 50% more damage from her attack. Okay. So upon ascending Bela, she will be able to gain a random stats up for one turn. Oh, this mechanic is something similar to Natalia. Because whenever Natalia has a buff, she has a passive skill that allows her to gain additional buff on top of that. So this one is like similar to Natalia. And the render sets up is attack up, critical damage up, and damage up. Alright, so most of the effects here is to boost up Bela's uh, damage even further. And it's quite, yeah. It's quite good. Okay, so let's move on to her first ability. Known as the Blood Last Spiral. It's her basic ability that deals... 110% damage to a single enemy and heals the team member with the lowest health for 50% of the damage dealt. I wonder if, if Bela is only the surviving hero on the team, would that heal her? Most probably yes. She can like keep on healing herself. And, and if you only have her in a team with 3 uh, tanky heroes like Mitasia, Bran and Hecarin, most probably she'll be healing herself. I think that that will, will happen. And most probably you want to pair her with either Florence so that she can deal uh, additional attack from the bonus attack buff. Or you can also gear her in the curse set to allow her to deal additional attack as well as healing herself again. It's like a continuous cycle to make her super s sustainable. Alright, so let's move on to her second ability. Known as the Flash John, this special ability has a 3 turn skill cooldown that deals 150% damage to one enemy and gains one stack of Invincible that prevents any damage from being inflicted to Bela's health. This in the Invincible effect is removed after receiving attack. So this is one good uh, ability that allows her to, yeah, to survive. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is good. Alright, and the ultimate ability is known as the Crimson Blast that has a 4 turn skill cooldown, gains the defense pierce up for 3 turns, and deals 170% damage to one enemy, damage skills with the number of positive effects on this hero. So they match up 2 hero skills in Bela's ultimate ability. The first one is defense pierce up that is similar to Cyrus, a legendary hero fight affinity that you can synthesize as well as Garrel who also has the capability of gaining this uh, defense piece up and the damage skills with the number of positive effects on this hero is uh, Natalia who is an epic hero ability here so they match two abilities into one alright so most probably if you want to boost up her damage output right you want to, to pair her with a, a buffer hero like Bran who is able to uh, provide shield, attack up, and defense up buff at the same time. So this will maybe allow her to deal more damage like Natalia. But Natalia one is much better because Natalia's ultimate ability will reset if she kills an enemy with her ultimate ability. 
and also her ultimate ability is able to attack 4 enemies at the same time or, or more this one is only attacking single target uh, enemy so let's check out the Ace Developer's Guide here so they recommended Warrior set, Race set and Assassin set most probably uh, I do not recommend Assassin set Assassin set is most used for joint attackers like Opal, Arendelle, Jacob those, those heroes that can perform multiple ally joint attacks with whenever your allies are performing an attack so I rather recommend uh, Cursed so she'll be able to gain more more bonus attack to make use or fully utilize her basic ability to heal herself Warrior is a good one that boosts her attack Reset is not really that good because Reset takes 4, four pieces whereas for Warrior Set it's only 2 pieces so 2 Warrior Sets could provide 30% attack whereas for Reset it's only like 20% critical rate so ideally you want to go for Warrior Set Warrior Set paired with a Curse Set and as I've mentioned earlier she is best paired with Brand because she provide she provide a lot of buff. I'm not sure why they mention Bachelet here. How does Bachelet will enhance Pera's durability? Dur durability. I'm not so sure because Bachelet is most most of the time is applying ignite and defense down. Not much about providing any support to other heroes in the team. All right, so. Where, where where could we use Bela? She's most uh, probably as a PvP hero. Not much for dungeon farming. She can be used for like Void Tower Heart, Endless Trial, and Guild vs. Environment, and Arena. Against like a tanky wood affinity hero, hero like Mitesia, Yolanda, or Bruzak. Bruzak also has a high amount of defense. So you can use him uh use Bella against him. So that's basically it for my first impressions on these three new heroes. Which hero do you think looks the best in terms of the character design? Do let me know down in the comments below. And also which hero that excites you the most? Is it Bella or skills or Viola? Or is it Donovan, the Kryptonite Super Saiyan undead hero? Do let me know down in the comments below. And also provide me your Discord ID. So uh, for the first four commentators who comment on, on my video, they'll be able to have a chance to get this uh, promo code from me so that you can redeem it for for some in-game resources be sure to comment below with your discord id or you can also provide me with your uh, game id so you can, you can just click the id here and copy this id so i will just send you a message on ace maybe this one i send you a message through uh, either this search and I'll, pro I'll provide you with the promo code Alright, so if you found this video enjoyable or helpful, give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, do click the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload a new video to this channel. And if you'd like to support me directly, you can donate to my PayPal account or you can become a monthly subscriber by visiting my Patreon site at patreon.com slash And if you'd like to learn more about Awakening Kiosk Era, you can visit my website at ayumilove.net. Alright, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!